welcome to the nerd pop quiz all right so, <laughs> nerd pop. Ooh, okay. category one the legend of zelda and i don't know if these will be too hard or not so i made the multiple yeah. choice so okay. in ocarina of time who is the sage of light is it a raru b zelda c sheik or d naburu Oh man, I feel like this should be obvious for me. <laughs> uh, it uh, so then okay, so I could just start. I can start now. Well, yeah, you can just tell me your answer, and then we'll okay. like once you're locked in, then we'll go to yeah. the next one and see okay. the answer. All right, my lock in. Oh my god, you can talk through it too if you have like ideas. You know one of them, but you know. Well, so I I, I know. I, I know it's either B or C. At least I feel that's my feeling. And I thought I don't think it's B because I, Zelda is is the sage of time. So I'm gonna go C with Sheik. Sheik, okay, locking it in. I'm locking it in. The correct answer oh God. is Raru. Wow, I am wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I was okay. surprised by this because um and what made me choose this question is playing Tears of the Kingdom. The um the like main guy in the past is named Raru and I was like I know that name uh -huh. and then I was replaying Ocarina of Time and the Sage of Light was Raru I'm like oh that's the same guy <laughs> so there's oh, a lot really? of, there's a lot of like crossover between the Ocarina of Time and Tears of the Kingdom yeah like all the sages and some characters and yeah it's really interesting so I thought that would be a good one yeah to it off. that is interesting and th that was that you know, at the beginning of Ocarina of Time, when they kind of go through it, is that one that explains it, right? It ex that explains like the gods and stuff. I think the like. Okay, um, that explains the gods. Oh, so when does it when does it reference that name? He Raru? he is when you first pull the Master Sword. He's the old guy, the kind of like fatter old oh, guy who's like, "Hey, oh, I'm the Sage God. of Light. Here's the token. Go find the other ones." Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, he know. looks way different in Ocarina of Time than in <laughs> the Kingdom. Oh, like, wait, like, wow, man! <laughs> hey, this is good though. This is kind of a uh, man. This makes me feel ashamed because <laughs> I'm a big Zelda fan. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got you got some more tries. You got some more tries. Robert, okay. Who is not Na Naburu? Naburu, that is the um the sage of spirit, the the desert one, the the Garuda okay. lady. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, the next oh, one. All right. In Majora's Mask, which mask grants you entrance to Latte, the Milk Bar? Now this one might be harder because I don't, I'm not sure I would have known this one without looking it up. So is the it milk bar. Don okay. Garrow's mask, the Bremen mask, Romani's mask, or the troop leader's mask? Okay, the milk bar. I'm trying to... It's been so long since I've played Majora's mask. The milk bar. So that was... And that's in Clock Town? The that milk is bar? in Clock Town, yep. Is that on the side with like the bank and where the... The dance, the dancing mm. people. No, it's um, I'm trying it's to... in the spot with like the the mayor's house, and it's actually right across from the inn. Oh, the oh, one that you okay. can only go the into inn. at night, which I think is why they called it late that's... or latte. Like they kind of made that late night, yeah, milk bar kind of thing. Oh man, okay, I I don't know why, but I I feel like it's the. Oh man, I feel like it's the the troop leader's mask. And that's, the only reason I feel like uh, okay. that's a good guess. Yep. The, the only reason I feel like it's that is because I just feel like that 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 would be something that a Majora's mask would do. I, I like because the troop leader's mask is is the uh, the kids, right? When you have to kind of that's the burn their bombers. The troop leaders are the. Um, I think it's the guy who owns the ranch. Okay. Okay, yeah. So Which that, is that's my guess. Okay, locking it in. It is actually locking the Romani's mask. 
but it's funny you chose troop leader because actually when you get in there that guy gives you the troop leader's mask in that bar so uh, okay. if i asked it a little different you that would have been right. I could, I, I could have been right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But it's the Romani's mask, which Man. is the milk or the cow one yep. that lets you get in. The, yes. The cow one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, I may have made these a little too hard. <laughs> no, I mean I like it. It's making me think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In Breath of the Wild, which of these options is not a meal you can cook? So is not a meal you can cook. You cannot cook this in Breath of the Wild. Is it a fruit cake, a prime poultry pilaf, an omelet, or a Hylian tomato pizza? I think I think it's an omelet. The only reason I'm saying that is because I do not remember ever making an omelet <laughs> in Breath of the Wild. Okay. It's that or it fruit cake. Or fruit yeah, cake? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I feel like I'm going to be so wrong. Or the pizza. <laughs> Have I ever made a pizza? No, I'm trying to think back out of that. I, I went with this one because I feel like you, at least I didn't, I didn't get really into the cooking. I always just made like the strongest attack one. I didn't go into all the recipes and stuff. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah, and I, I don't, I really don't remember making an omelet, but I'm per, I'm going to lock it in, but I think it's, <laughs> I'm okay. locking it in, but I don't know if I break, but yeah, I'm locking in an omelet. I'm locking in an omelet. The correct answer is Hylian tomato oh, pizza. Dear, I mean, dear, I mean, an omelet <laughs> is just one singular egg cooked, and it makes an omelet. That's probably why you didn't make it. I, 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 I never just made a secret the, okay, pizza. The reason I did this is because in Tears of the Kingdom, you can cook in high, a highly in tomato pizza. So I thought that might have tripped uh, you up and been like, oh yeah, uh, I made pizza, uh, but, <laughs> but uh, okay. got you a different. Uh, I'm like you. I did. I didn't dabble a lot into the cooking. Yeah, I'm kind of like you. As long as it gave me a lot of strength or hearts. Yeah. Just but uh, or yeah, that's or probably why I never made an omelet because yeah. <laughs> I never just put one egg in there. In Tears of the oh, Kingdom, funny. we did a little more because Tiffany likes to do some of that stuff. So, but mm -hmm. I like it. But like, for there's me, so much else to do in the out. game. Like, <laughs> and I would rather just find like armor pieces and upgrade those. Yeah, for sure. But but the beginning of the game, the cooking is yeah, it's very helpful. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, moving on from Zelda. These ones are going to be hard too, I realize now. So, um, category two, or round two, is Lord round of the two. Rings. Okay. All right, first question. In which forest do the Fellowship first meet Lady Galadriel? Is it Lothlorien, Mirkwood, the Old Forest, or Fangorn? I have a gut feeling it's Mirkwood. What what is your I'm just curious. What's the gut feeling? Mm -hmm. Like what what uh what makes you think I, Fangorn? I so I watched it like a year ago. Okay. Or I rewatched it. Yep. Uh a year or so ago. And Mirkwood I mean Lothlorien sounds familiar too, but Mirkwood just sounds right. It's uh, I I I recognize that. Okay. And Lothlorien, it just doesn't seem right. And the old forest, I feel like the like I feel like it had a different name than the old forest, but we'll see. No, I don't think it's Fangorn. Watch it be that. <laughs> but <laughs> but that's right. my meaning raising Mirkwood. I recognize, and I feel like that's I feel like that's right. But all right, locking in Mirkwood. The correct answer is Lothlorien. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I, I shouldn't. Have, I I oh. Okay. So Mirkwood, so close, man. Mirkwood is where um, I think Legolas is from. The old forest okay. is the forest in right outside the Shire, and then Fangorn's the one where Treebeard is from. Lothlorien is the yeah. one. Yes, yeah, that, that Galadriel. Like okay, man, I should have. I'm like I keep guessing two and picking the wrong <laughs> out of the two. Yeah. Okay. This one was hard because they're all like, they're all actual Lord of the Rings forests. So. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I just made knew, one I, of them. For some reason, I knew it wasn't the old forest and a Fangorn. Now you say it, I, I can I, I recognize from, from my beard and stuff. But yeah, the yeah. Mirkwood and Lothlorien. 
Yeah. I could have guessed Lothlorien just because it sounds very elvish. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> True. <laughs> so, but to be fair, but Mirkwood has too elves too. So. That's true. All right. Okay. What is the name of the tower where Sauron's eye resides? Is it Khazad Doom, Barad Dur, Sirith Ungol, or Dol Guldur? Mm, okay. Yeah, I know uh, these are way too hard. <laughs> so, so these are these all actual things in Lord of the Rings, or these some of these just are all actual things in Lord of the Rings? I was going to say, they all sound familiar. <laughs> so I, um, I, I kind of split between two again. I'm split between Barad-Dur, is that how you said it? Barad-Dur, yep. Yeah, I, I that, don't know for and sure then if I, that's how you say it. Yeah. It's uh, something or, like that. Oh, man. Or Sirith Ungol. Okay. Um, I, <laughs> okay, I'm going to go with, I'm going to lock in Barad Door. Locking uh, in Barad Door. I'm okay. locking it. Yes. Yep. Okay. I'm locking it in. I'm going with it. I'm confident. All right. I swear. The correct answer is Barad Door. Ah! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Casa Doom is a dwarven mine. It's the one where they go in the first one. Um, in fellowship, yeah, in fellowship, yeah, Sirith yeah. Ungol okay. is the place where the main, um, now why can't I think of his, their names? The the fallen king guys, the ring rates, it's oh, where the main oh, ring yep, rate yep. is, and then Dol Guldur is, I think it's actually in the Hobbit where they fight Saruman as the necromancer in one of the movies, okay, yep, okay, so nice, good job, yeah. very nice. Woo. Yeah, what is that, a point? Yep, that is that is a point. And I don't know if you yeah. remember, but I put Khazad Doom in here because we were playing Lord of the Rings Trivial Pursuit one time, and I remember winning on a question about Khazad oh. Doom. I, Brandon was so confident oh. I wouldn't get it, <laughs> and the question was, what is the one piece of curved architecture in the Mines of Moria and I got it right with the bridge of Kaza Doom. And I was so freaking shocked. Uh, I just... Kaza Doom sounded very familiar. Yep. So now that you say that, yep. yeah, I remember <laughs> the bridge. The bridge of Kaza Doom. Doom. That's right. It's funny. <laughs> All right. And this one might be my favorite Lord of the Rings. Who is the father of Gimli? Is it Gamling? Is it Jimli? Is it Gloin or is it Boffer? All right. I, I'm i confident in too. I think it's Gloin. C, green, Gloin. Final locking it, it in. Final answer, locking it in? Okay. I feel confident. It is Gloin. Ah, Gimli, uh, son of Gloin. Good job. Two points. So I, I just remember that because they... Doesn't he, doesn't he repeat it? A yeah, he times? says it a bunch of times. Yeah, <laughs> I, I honestly wrote this question because I thought of the name. I thought of the name Jim Lee, and it was just so funny to me. That I, Jim Lee sounds fun. It's like Jim I knew Lee, it son of Jim, Jim Lee. <laughs> Jim Lee son, that that, that would have been hilarious, actually. <laughs> Jim Lee, son of Jim Lee. Uh, yeah, and Bofer was one of the other dwarves in the Hobbit, along with Gloin, because Gloin is one of the the dwarves in the Hobbit. And then mm -hmm. gambling is a human in the Ro uh, the Rohirrim, um, but his name kind of sounded like Gimli, so I thought that might trip you up. So. Yeah, yeah. No, I I think watching The Hobbit helped me with it too. Yeah, to be yeah. yep, it, that's true. I would. All right, All right. category round oh, three. Star Red Wars. And butter. Let's, I, I'm gonna be disappointed if I'm if I miss these. <laughs> But you, we might. Hey, no, uh, no other questions. I'm trying Jacob, to think if you'll get them. I don't know. I may have made them too hard. All right, round three, Star Wars. What is the name of the Trandoshan bounty hunter that appears in Empire Strikes Back? Is it Dangar? Is it Zuckus? Is it Embo? Or is it Bosk? Uh, I'm going with Bosk. D. Locking it in. Locking it in. It Locking is Bosk. It in. Yeah, nice. okay. very Woo. nice. 
Another yep, point. I made them all bounty hunters, and two of them are actually on the ship with Bosk. So Dengar and Zuckus are both there. And then Embo's from uh, Clone Wars, I think. Okay, okay. I didn't I didn't recognize Zuckus or whatever. He's like a weird short alien worm guy or something. Oh, he's like, he's okay. weird. He's all, they're all only on screen for like a second each. <laughs> Especially Dengar and Zuckus. <laughs> I, I I don't know how I know Bosk. Probably because we played Trivial Pursuit. Was that one of the questions in Trivial Pursuit? It might have been. Yeah, yeah. And it, he was also in the uh, that Star Wars like mobile game I had you play too for a little bit. Uh, I, so I, 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 I bet you it was that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. What species is Ahsoka Tano? Is it is she a Twi'lek? Is she Togruten? Is she Trandoshan? Or is she Thelen? Oh man, okay, man, I love Ahsoka too. Tiffany oh. actually helped gave me the idea for this one. I oh, I love her. Yeah, she's <laughs> she's Tiffany's besides, favorite. Besides character. Luke Skywalker, besides Luke Skywalker, she's probably my favorite character too. Yeah, she's really good. Like, although I don't know, I mean, I ask me on the on it any day because i love honestly, obi-wan and i love yeah, luke. honestly obi-wan might be my favorite now it switches between luke obi-wan yeah back and forth yeah that's true i grew up lo- oh, what, growing up obi-wan was my favorite but i yeah. think that's more so because ewan mcgregor mm-hmm. <laughs> yep um okay i'm gonna go with twi'lek a i'm pretty Twi- confident twi'lek it's I- I, I know it sounds familiar it sounds right but i just don't know if i'm mixing it up with some one or something else, but I'm going to go with that because okay. that feels right. And the correct answer is Togruten. Oh, you picked the God. other tentacled women race. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> that's I, true knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. It sounded familiar and it yep. felt right, but like it's like they're cousins. <laughs> yep, I know. They look very similar. It's the blue and so, orange that are the Togruten. So honestly, I don't think I knew that. Yeah, that I I told Miss Tiffany that, and she and she uh, she tests everybody who says they like Star Wars. <laughs> Which see. Yep. Oh shoot, that's a good test. And I love the Soka. I even read her dang book. Yeah, I don't I, even know if I'm just a book it even mentioned. It may not say that in the book. Yeah. I don't remember, but yeah, I read that too. That's a good book. For Gruen. Okay, that's good to know that for Gruen. Because yeah, I, I, honestly, I'm not, besides Luke, yeah, and maybe Obi Wan, and maybe Anakin. <laughs> <laughs> But like she, I think she has the best character progression. Like going yeah, from like sure. a bratty little teenager to like such epic, a badass like, in Rebels. Yeah. Oh my! Oh my! Yeah, my favorite line ever in any Star Wars was when she goes in Rebels when she fights Darth Vader. She's like, "I am no Jedi." I'm like, yeah, "Oh, that's my God. so good." That was the moment. I'm like, oh, amazing this girl. scene. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's one of my favorite lines still to this day. Yep. Agreed. Okay. Okay. Which, by the way, I'm freaking excited for that show. By the way, heck yeah! It's is it I'm this so month? Excited. Late this later this month, right? Yeah, I think yes. it's like August 23rd or something. Yeah, oh, well, I'm so excited looks, for that too. What makes me excited is Dave Filoni is like in charge of that show. Yep. What makes oh. me really excited is there's several lines in there that make me think it's pulling stuff from the Thrawn books. Yeah. Yeah, the heir of the Thrawn, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they even say that line, don't they? Yeah, he's heir. the heir to the Empire, which is the whole series name. Or maybe it's just a so my question. So my question is, though, this, so this is set after Rebels, right? Did you watch the trailer for it? I did. So in the trailer, it had, like, uh, Sabine calling her, like, Master. So is she... Was she just training with her, or she like I, that's I don't force know. sensitive now? I know because she was never force sensitive in the show. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I got. I literally said that. I'm like, is she like a Jedi now or a force sensitive? I said that to Tiffany because oh. yeah, that that was. Or is it just like she did use the dark like saber? A... So she, did, she does yeah. have lightsaber like... training, but yeah, I don't know. But if I remember specifically when they uh, when. Uh, 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 what's his face? Uh, Kanan was training her. Like he, he specifically said, since you, you're not with the four, like I remember the conversation where yeah. basically since she doesn't have the force, it's going to be harder for her to learn or something like that. Yep. Yeah. I so I, I'm wondering if maybe it's just like, since like Ahsoka's not a Jedi, technically, maybe she just took her under yeah, that could be. her wing. You know what I mean? That definitely could and be. another thing before our next question is, is Ezra 
So is is Ezra? I know he's cast and in the show, but do you think he's going to be just like kind of like a kind of like a a Luke and like the Force Awakens where he just shows That's up at possible. the end, or do you think he'll be I'm, in it a lot? I'm thinking he'll show up probably near the end of the show, but maybe not like the very very end. I don't know. I'm hoping he's in it more. Than I just, just hope like they don't screw up Ezra. Yeah, because I love Ezra too. I just love Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So one thing that the the guy with the is it an orange lightsaber my colors like i don't see colors very well so i don't know if it's orange or red but like the bad guy oh. in it the bearded guy it was orange yeah, orange okay um yeah. there's a character in the book called joris saboth who's a clone of a jedi master who goes like kind of crazy and i'm wondering oh. if that's who that is i don't know for sure this is a total random speculation but like that would yeah, be yeah, really yeah. interesting if they brought in like a clone of a jedi master yeah. who's now kind of gone in the book he goes yeah. real crazy but i mean you um, know star wars and clones so yeah, it's definitely <laughs> possible but i don't think we've seen a clone you, with the four you know that actor <laughs> that's true we, we haven't seen a clone of a jedi yeah right no, I don't think so. Well, I mean, I guess, well, I mean, I guess you have with the Sith now with Palpatine, yeah. or do we not well, talk we, about we the sequel? We don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Which did you know that the guy that you're referencing in the show, you know, he passed away in real life recently. Did he? I didn't know that. Yeah, it, his name's like Ray Stevenson or something. Oh. Yeah, the guy that you're talking about the the main guy she's fighting, right? Not the yeah. girl, the yeah, guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah he, he had just passed away. I think that, it was like a month or so ago. I did not I, it's that. Obviously, he finished the filming of this yeah. season. I'm very curious to see, like, how it ends if he, like, lives in the show, like, yeah, how they're going to do, they that, do but... that. Yeah, interesting. But anyway, so yeah. Like, random tangent, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, get, we get off on Star Wars tangents all oh, the time. Oh, God, yes. Okay, yes. here we go. I'm interested to see if you know this one. In A New Hope... What planet does Princess Leia tell Grand Moff Tarkin the hidden rebel base is on? Is it Dantooine, Tatooine, Alderaan, or Ilum? I think it's Ilum D. I don't think it's Alderaan, because why would you say your home planet has a rebel base on it? I don't think it's Tatooine. I think maybe Datooine. No, it's Ilum. I think it's Ilum D. I'm Ilum confident. D. Locking it in. Okay. I'm locking it in. The answer is Datooine. <laughs> That's it. Dang it. I was, I was thinking, but uh, is that an actual planner or was she playing? It is. Play it is. And oh, no. there, there was a rebel base on it at some time. Um, okay. But yeah, it sounds so similar to Tatooine. I kind of thought that might get you. Um, it, it did because I, I was going between the two because I knew it would be Tatooine or Alderaan. But yeah. Man, that's a, that that Dantooine just sounds too goofy. <laughs> yeah, so Ilum is where the lightsaber crystals, they get the lightsaber crystals from in uh, 1, okay. 2, and 3. Dantooine, I picked... Okay. I love Dantooine because in Knights of the Old Republic, that's where the Jedi Enclave is. And that's where you first get like your lightsaber and start learning Jedi stuff oh. in Knights of the Old Republic. Oh, yeah. look at, man, I haven't played that in forever. I love that game. Dantooine. Okay. Okay, that's good. And okay. she, she says that in the movie, then, She right? says that in the movie. And then you hope? Yep. And when I got on Dan Tween, I was like, when I played Night Sailor Republic, I was like, oh my god, I know this place. <laughs> like, I've heard of this place before. It's <laughs> oh, funny. Okay, round uh, four. Pokemon. Pokemon? I think yeah. at least one of these questions might be too hard, but it's multiple choice, so you have a chance. You have a chance. Yeah, yeah. Multiple choice helps a little bit. All right. In Pokemon, what does the ability Overgrow do? Does it create grassy terrain that heals Pokemon 10% each turn? Does it increase the size of the Pokemon by 50%? Does it power up grass type moves when your health is under 25%? Or does it leech 15% life from the opposing Pokemon each turn? Okay. I don't think it's b okay and i hmm. okay so my initial gut says it's a uh heals each turn 10 percent each each turn but i could also see hmm. or i could also hmm. i think 
Hours up grass type moves when under 25% health. Leeches 15% life from the opposing Pokemon each turn. I think it is. I'm going A. It's either A. I feel like it's A or C. Okay. You, and which one are you so going I'm, with? I'm going to go with A. A. Locking it in. Locking it in. Okay. The answer is C. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's funny is um, I pulled this first one from an ability that Rillaboom has, which is Grassy Surge. But Rillaboom's oh. normal ability is Overgrow, which does this power up grass type moves. So oh, uh, this one I just totally made up. That doesn't do anything in Pokemon, really. It might affect one or two yeah. moves. Yeah, I don't I know. Yeah. And this I based off Leech Seed. So I just made yeah. that up. But. Yeah. Man, you know, every time I have, I'm, I'm between two, I'm going to think the one that I don't think it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, that might serve you well. Oh. That might serve you well. Okay. Man, I get half a point. <laughs> uh, I'll think about uh. it. <laughs> okay, I, I was a little bit easier on this one, but okay. maybe not oh, much. Yeah. Which, <laughs> which type below would be four times super effective against Hisuian Arcanine? And I put the type of Hisuian Arcanine for you. It's a fire and rock type. So which okay. one of these four would hit those for four times super effective? Is it ground, steel, flying, or fairy? Oh, jeez. I, I think it is. Well, I don't think it's steel. And I don't. Oh, hmm. Okay. Oh man, see now you put, you put pressure on it because you, you said you made this one a little easier. <laughs> it's still hard. I had it way easier than I think you would have gotten it. I'll tell you after though. I'll tell you after. All right, I think it is. <laughs> okay, I think it's fairy D. I, I it's between you know no 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 it's between flying and fairy and I said fairy so I'm going to flying. Locking in. I think flying. it's flying C. Yes. The correct answer is ground. Oh my god! <laughs> I was going to say that the very first that uh, I. Oh, I originally oh had ground here. I didn't have ground, and I had water, but that I ah. thought would be really easy because I knew you would well, know and... water is super effective against fire. But then yeah, I think yeah. you could figure out, yeah, rock. The thing is, I was thinking of ground with fire just because. I don't know, dirt, ground. I don't yeah, know. Literally, but that, that, like, the rock, the rock kind of threw me off. The yeah. rock, the fire, rock type. Yeah, I, I have those kind of things like where I try and memorize them by like, yeah, you throw dirt on a fire and it puts it out. It's super effective, and and like yeah. for rock, I think earthquake. It like moves the rock and like breaks it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but, that makes sense. But yeah, a lot of those things work for Pokemon. It's just like. Yeah, of course, electric electric is super effective against flying. It zaps mm -hmm. the bird, and yeah, and obviously water with fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was super easy. <laughs> yeah, water, I changed it from water to ground, but yeah. Okay. 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 The final Jeez. question of this: In the anime of Pokemon, which legendary bird did Ash see in the very first episode? Is it A. Lugia, B. Moltres? Moltres, C, ho -O, or D, Zapdos? I'm going with D, Zapdos. Final answer. Set it in. Give me a point. Boom. It's ho -O. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I really thought uh, it was Zapdos. I know, and I think a lot of people either thought it was Zapdos or Moltres, because when the anime oh. came out, only Gen 1 was out. ho -O wasn't even like in games or anything. So they like That's revealed not. a Gen Two legendary bird in the first episode of the anime before Gen Two was out. So man, so oh, man, I really I was so confident. Man. No <laughs> I really thought it was that though. Yeah. Oh, it was so what I get? Three points. Uh, yeah, I think so. There's well, also a theory. There's, there's also a theory that Ash seeing Ho Oh gave him eternal youth. And which is why he never ages in the anime. Uh, why he never but, ages but that's in just the a, a fan theory, so, yeah. Or they could use it as a retcon. <laughs> yep, yep, true. 
All right, three points, not bad. I think I made those questions a little too hard, but... So three out of what, though? Um, like 15? <laughs> let's see, 12? Or, three out of... Let's see, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Three out of twelve. So three out of twelve. Twenty-five percent. All right, well, next... <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> And all three were, were all three of the Star Wars. Uh, go? You got. I. You didn't get that one right. You didn't get that. So you got Bosk. That one. You got Gloin, so, uh, okay. and you got Barrow. Okay, yeah. yeah, two Lord yeah, of the Rings, one oh, Star Wars. Wow. wow. So honestly, the one I thought I'd get the least on, I got the most on. <laughs> yeah. Nice. 